Hey y'all, so I was asked by a couple people to make, um, or rather post, a little bit more about the uh, ABR STEMI equivalent. I posted an EKG a few days ago of a patient that I had uh, come through the ER, and it's actually the third one I've gotten in the past year. Um, before that it was pretty rare, so I guess it's just my luck. But anyway, there's some um, patterns you really don't want to miss, and this is one of them. You get a patient in, and it looks like you may just have some ST depression and no old EKGs to compare it to, and um, kind of um, symptoms are kind of equivocal. So you send him home, and of course he doesn't do well. So this is one you don't want to miss. So here is the EKG. And of course, I marked it up a little bit in the ER. So, but you can see um, here in ABR the ST elevation, and um, they say it should be more than a millimeter. But of course, this is quite a bit more. And you can see the elevation here, and along with reciprocal elevation, and a lot of the uh, the most pronounced usually in your uh, lateral leads. Uh, v4, v5, v6, as well as um, some here in lead 1 and uh, lead 2 as well. And those are where you'll see the most pronounced ST depressions at. So you can see the computer read, I mean, they were way off, which they usually are. That's why I don't uh, much pay attention to what the computer says. Much more important for you to read it yourself, obviously. So what does this mean? Um, it can be um, LAD occlusion. It can be severe um, three-vessel disease. Uh, it can be left main. Uh, so bottom line is this is pretty significant, and the patient needs to go to the cath lab and be treated um, just like it was a STEMI. So they found that the degree of ST elevation in AVR can correlate with the mortality um, in these patients with uh, ACS. So if you have an ST elevation in AVR of more than 0.5, um, it's about a fourfold increase in mortality. If it's greater than one millimeter, it's a six to sevenfold increase. And if it's greater than 1.5 millimeter, which this one is, it's associated with mortalities upwards of anywhere from 20 to 75 percent. And in this patient, he was an elderly gentleman, I believe he was 89 if I remember right, and presented with um, just arm pain. He said he, his arm hurt him all night long and uh, nothing else other than just kind of feeling bad. And um, on top of that, he had a, a cough, so I think he had a URI bug as well. It was kind of mudding the picture a little bit. So you need to do a little clinical correlation with this as well. And the, um, this ST elevation AVR, you should be worried about, um, obviously, if you have um, cardiopulmonary symptoms and then the ST segment depression in the other leads. If it's just a little bit of um, elevation, like 0.5 millimeters or less, it's really not specific. You need to have greater than one millimeter. Amalma 2 has a really good lecture on uh, STEM equivalents and ABR elevation in particular, as well as just he's incredible when it comes to EKGs. I highly recommend his uh, podcast, by the way. So on to another uh, EKG that I um, found on the internet. And you can see this one here has um, definitely greater than two millimeters. Looks like it's um, about three millimeters of ST elevation here in ABR. And then you look here, V4, V5, V6 all have ST depression, as well as lead 1 and lead 2. So this fits the criteria, and again, I don't have any clinical information about this patient, but this fits the criteria for an ABR STEMI equivalent. But again, you want to uh, clinically correlate, obviously, but this is pretty obvious. So... This is just one pattern of the STEMI equivalents. There's um, a number of them. Uh, you have um, this one, you have the Winter's T waves, you have Wellen syndrome, and I have a uh, lecture on the various STEMI equivalents that's in the NSTEMI versus STEMI uh, lecture post on the site. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, don't miss this in the ER. You guys have a great day. Bye.
Well, here's the YouTube channel. Um, go check it out. If you like it, subscribe. And again, have a great day.